Here we go guys, so we're being coerced and blackmailed into taking this stuff just to be able to travel abroad. Um, that's in our face and then now just delayed that, that's just been delayed travel abroad until July. And to those people that go on about those banging on about going on holiday, the reason I want to go abroad is to see my daughter, full stop. Um, but I won't be taking the vaccination, but if I want to go abroad, that's the reason why I'm doing it. So, guys, I've got this story here. Care home staff to face compulsory vaccination. OK, so leaked cabinet plans reveal PM has agreed to make jabs a legal requirement. Now, they're saying this is leaked. It's not leaked. It's just put out into the media to get a feed on it. And what will be the comeback on this? And what are the public going to say? And what will they have to do next? It's never leaked. This is in the telegra Telegraph. Let me see. This is in the Daily Te Telegraph. This isn't leaked, OK? This is testing the water. I'll read the story because you can't read the whole thing online. I've got the front page here. Um, I'll read what I can. So care home workers will be required by law to take the the inoculation under a historic legal change agreed by Boris Johnson and Matt Hancock, the Daily Telegraph can disclose, leaked details of the paper submitted to the CB19 Operations Cabinet Safety Committee last week show that the Prime Minister and the Health Secretary have requested the change in the law. Ministers feel compelled to act following alarm at the low take-up of the CV inoculations. Sorry, I'm having to edit myself so this video doesn't get removed, even though I'm reading a front page of a British newspaper. Yeah, that's where we are. OK, so forgive me for having to act like a child and I'm having to censor myself and refrain from using the words that we all use when we're talking about these kind of things. Well, I'm running on there. Ministers feel compelled to act following alarm at the low take-up of the inoculation among staff in care homes where many of the, these most at risk from the virus live. Only around a quarter of care homes in London and half in other parts of England have reached a level of inoculation among staff and residents deemed suitably safe by government scientists. If the change is voted through, it is likely that the vast majority of the 1.5 million workers in England's adult social care sector would be legally bound to get an inoculation. The decision is principle. <clears throat> the decision in principle is without modern precedent. One legal expert said the only comparable UK laws are from the 1800s when newborns had to be given smallpox jabs. Legally forcing scores of workers to be injected raises huge legal and moral questions. Government ministers have previously called similar ideas discriminatory. Just changing the page, yeah. Discriminatory. The Cabinet Subcommittee paper warns that a large number of social care workers may quit if the change is made and successful lawsuits on human rights, rights grounds could follow. It also makes clear that a similar legal requirement is being considered for the, some frontline healthcare workers, such as those on wards, but no decision over that has been made yet. The paper was drafted by the Department of Health and Social Care. It is around 15 pages long and entitled Vaccin Inoculation as a Condition of Deployment in Adult Social Care and Health Setting. The key line is understood to read, the Prime Minister and the Secretary of State for Health have discussed on several occasions the progress that is being made to inoculate social care workers against CB19 and have agreed in order to reach a position of much greater safety for care residents to put in place leg legislation to require inoculations among the workforce. The sentences may oh my god I'm so wound up I can't read probably the sentence marks clear makes clear that both Mr Johnson and Mr Hancock have decided in principle to change the law to require inoculation of social care workers even as the spec specifiers are worked up the specifics are worked up sorry it's late and I'm trying to read um, Government officials are still discussing what the legislation would look like with the, and which spec 
bloody hell and which specifics are yet to be agreed a consultation on a final detailed proposal is expected the legal change would be likely to affect only england yeah you heard me the legal change would likely to only affect England with health policy and remit of the developed administration in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Care homes have been among the hardest hit by the pandemic in the past year. Around one in 14 of the population in UK care homes has died after contracting the virus. I won't read any more. I wonder how many in UK care homes have died after, after receiving the experimental inoculation. So there we go, guys. <clears throat> there we go. So we're being bribed into doing all these things. And now they're going to bribe people who work in the care homes. And they're actually saying in this piece further along, they're not going to be doing it in the NHS yet, in the hospitals. The reasons that they're trying this in the care home, I think now, is because they're going to, they know people in care homes will be leaving so if they did this now in the NHS, too many members of staff would leave. And that's what's happening now. That's why they're just putting this out there now, testing the water, seeing what's going to happen, check how the public react to this. How are the care home staff going to react to this? Are we going to need to start looking for more staff? What's happening? That's all they're doing. That's all they're doing here. And also you've got to realise at this time here, you've got to think why such a push on this? Why is there such a push on this? And the people who are, as they say, they call it, they're on the front line. Okay, so these people who are supposed to have seen all of this stuff are the ones saying that they don't want to take it. So that is another thing you must ask yourself and think about. And then you've got those who are not involved in that position, don't go and see those places, aren't on the front line, but they're just watching the TV. And they're the ones taking it. So that's where we are. Hope this video gets to stay up. Uh, peace out, guys. Look after yourselves.